All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekar Kodash. I want to send double honors unto the elders and apostles at GMS that taught us this truth and that continue to feed us with knowledge and understanding. Peace, love, and salutation is always unto the hopeful elect that are continuing to endure with all long suffering and sound doctrine in these last days. All right. So, uh, this is the, I'm the brother you call him off. Correct, is that? All right, and we're coming back with another lesson in the spirit of Yah the spirit of power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And it's a real simple lesson, you know, um, talking about the kingdom, you know, because in the kingdom, things, everything's going to be different, you know, compared to what this kingdom is. This, um, matters, see, that's the spirit already, Proverbs 29 and 2, you know, and, and if you examine this scripture, you know, um, it's really self-explanatory, but you got to, as, as the apostle always said, uh, uh, to extrapolate. You know, when you read the scriptures, you, first and foremost, you have to take your time when you read the scriptures. But you have to look around because the scriptures, everything that's around you is in the Holy Scriptures, man. Okay. okay. All right, so, Baku Shah, Baku Shah. Hey, and Lord willing, uh, this is an edifying video to the Akim out there, man. This is a Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Right, and that, and that shows you who's ruling right now. Okay, you look at you look at the nations, man. Namely, so let's start with the the nation of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're the poor of the earth, man. All right, not not but now we're rich in faith, but in this day and age, we're at our lowest state okay. because we transgressed the holy uh, holy commandments and laws of the, the heavenly Father Yahweh Al Shai. Everybody's mourning, man. All right, the, the nation of Israel is mourning. Your own people, uh, Esau, Edom, your own people are mourning. You look around, all these different nations, they're, they're, they're mourning, man. You know why? Because there's unjust balances. You know, there's, um, there's wicked decrees. There's all type of wickedness going on in this place, and people are fed up, man. You know, and it says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. In the, in the, the kingdom of heaven, the people are going to rejoice. Why? Let's get um, Second Peter, the third chapter, and uh, I believe like the 11th verse. Okay. You got to get there because this kingdom here in Babylon, this kingdom is about to be destroyed very soon. As you see, they uh, they just responded. All right. That, there's an act of war when they, they uh, shot those missiles um, at the, um, they, that, this just happened hours ago, man. You know, uh, this is a declaration of war, man. They just shot down was at the um, not not an embassy. Um, um, I had to post an article, man. But they they um, pretty much were some of the U.S., the United States uh, soldiers or wherever that wherever they're stationed, they they got bombed over there, man. As a retaliation to that general that that um, exactly that they killed, man. That's a declaration of war, and, and you know, I posted a video the other day. Which is, you know, it's, it's not null and void, but it showed they raised a flag at his funeral saying either they're going to retaliate or this is going to be straight out war. And that's what we're coming into. Yeah, you know, that's a direct tit for attack. You know, you took one of mine, I'm going to take some of yours. Exactly. You know, and this is a hey, and that's why this is through the spirit. This is the, the year of prophecy, man. You know, very a. Hey, Early and often, <laughs> you know, hey, Lord willing, this is the last year. But let's, let's, let's get into that, Baku Shah. Uh, yeah. Let me see. What was that? What did I say? Three and, Three and 11. Uh, let me see. Three and... Um, um, yeah, you can start from there. The point, the point is in 13, but you can start right there. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 11. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, because if you're familiar with this chapter, what it's, it's telling telling us is that it's pretty much explaining the last days. All right, explaining how there's going to be scoffers, how they're going to be, and this word, the same word that Noah was speaking, this is the same word that we're speaking. It says this this word is reserved unto those um, those the, uh, the ungodly men. All right, going going on and so forth. It's pretty much talking about the destruction of this age, man. All right, or or Babylon, okay. And it says, knowing that these things shall be burned up, which they're going to be burned up by what? Thermonuclear missiles. 
All right, seeing that you know these things, mm -hmm. how should you be carrying yourself in these times, man? Okay. You know, and, and you're supposed to carry us. Uh, well, we don't know. Let the scripture speak. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the Most High. Why? Because every day that we pass that passes in Babylon is a step closer to the kingdom of heaven, man. You know. You go ahead, brother. And we're and so we're hasting unto it. You know, a and um. A perfect point is when you know when the apostles they were saying that you know this this was going to jump off in the, in 2000 man yeah you know that's looking forward and hastening to the coming of Yahweh Shemuel Shai man we're ready to go home yeah you know we're not looking forward to any benefits in this but we're not looking forward to <laughs> what is it, January we're not looking forward to to tax season man you know because you made it you made a beautiful point on a, on the highways in order for um oh a war to go on, it has to be funded, you know, which means what they're, they're going to take the American people's dollars, man, yes. that they that they're looking so looking forward to. The money's not going to come from nowhere. You know, you don't get something out of nothing. Come on. OK, you have a, a budget and you have funding. So if you're going to do a surplus on on one uh, budget, so it's, it's just like anybody else. You know, every, every, everybody pay bills. Everybody know what it's like to pay bills. Okay. So if you pay fifty dollars a month for your cable, but now you want to order a pay per view, you gotta come up with seventy five more dollars. Exactly. So now you exactly. gotta take five out of the gas. I gotta take uh ten dollars out of my, my food fund. Okay. I gotta take you, you gotta take from here, from here, from here, from here to supplement there. Yep. And that's the same thing that they're gonna do in America, man. That's right. The money's gotta come from somewhere. So if you think that that America can go to war, you're not going to be affected somehow, some way. You're lying, man. You or you, you're just a fool. Yep. Hey, and, and Jake, and Jake, you know with this going on, with, with this rumor of war that's going on, the wars and rumors of wars going on right now. Jake is still, they're still joking and playing, man. You know, I just seen an, a, a a new, a new meme today. You know what I'm saying? They talking about uh, fuck going to war with them. They're trying to fight the child support. Uh, some some bullshit, some bullshit, man. Hey, but that's okay. That's all fine and dandy. Yeah, know? they said. Uh, <laughs> they said uh, Iran said let's go to war. Con. America said let's make memes. Con. You know, Con. You think it's a joke? That's it. Yep. But it's all fun. It's all fun and games until judgment is passed. You know, and judgment is about to be executed by the heavenly Father, man. Ahead, Verse 12, it says, looking for and hasting, hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, this place is going to be utterly destroyed, man. As it says in the book of Revelation, and I believe also in the book of um, Isaiah, the 65th chapter, it tells you that this place is going to be a desert land. It also says that, um, what is that, uh, Isaiah... 13th chapter it says that this land is going to be a land for desert creatures man okay. you know showing that this place is going to be totally just totally obliterated okay everything that you see everything that you that you love which according to the, the scriptures everything around here everything you see is temporal everything is going to be done away with man according to prophecy All right nevertheless we according to his promise that, Look, that we is the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst, man. Okay. All right. Yeah, man. Look for uh, look for a new heavens and a new earth, yep. wherein dwell of righteousness. Yep. Hey, wherein dwell of righteousness, because as it says in the book of Revelation, you'll see you're gonna see the kingdom of heaven come down on earth, man. All right. But it says wherein dwell of righteousness. There's gonna we're not gonna be equal with no heathen nations for one. But everybody's gonna um, have a fair chance, man. You know, of course, there's a rank, but you're gonna have everybody's gonna have a fair chance. All right, you're not gonna have to worry about no taxes. You know, we're, we're gonna treat the land how it's supposed to be treated. You know, and hey, that that's why we look forward to the kingdom of heaven. Okay. That's why we look. That's why we strive so, fight so hard, man. Because you see, all this is so much wickedness going on, man. And we can't do nothing about it. We have to, hey, as it says in the book of uh, 
I want to say the book of Malachi, you no, know, correct me if I'm wrong, where it says we behold grievance, man. You know, we see our people, they down and out in the streets. You know, it's uh, uh, people, are, you shouldn't have no homeless people, man. Right. There ain't going to be no homeless people in the kingdom. There ain't going to be nobody holding up no signs looking for help in the kingdom, man. Because everybody's going to have their due share, man. All right? Everything is going to be righteous, man. All right? So we go back to uh, the other scripture. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, did. The second. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house should be established in the top of the mountains. Now that mountain is what? A government. Okay, it says that the, the mountain of the Lord's house, which is who? Israel. The Negroes, the Latinos, and Native Americans is going to be established at the top of all the other governments, man, which which in the kingdom of heaven is going to be these other nations. Okay? This is going to, this house is going to be established at the top. All right? Go ahead, bro. It should be exalted. And, and that's a, that's a, tra that's a tra uh, transition of kingdoms already. You know? That's a transition of kingdoms. As it says in the, um, it says, uh, because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and things got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Because these people, give uh, Bible Shah Baruch chapter four and verse verse three, all right. Because these 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 so-called white people, they don't know how to rule, man. Okay, they don't know. How to, hey, they don't they don't respect the land Sabbath. They change landmarks. You know, everything under the sun is totally against the heavenly Father. You know, hey, so on and so forth. His his list goes on for miles man you know we're gonna get in the kingdom and we're gonna show them how it's done man through the spirit and power of the heavenly father yeah this is a baruch chapter 4 verse 3 give not thine honor to another right, so I, uh, go to two. So okay. I, uh baruch 4 and 2 turn the old jacob out and take hold of it Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Uh, let me start from the top. I thought it was two. Okay. Okay. Uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endures forever. All that keep it shall come to life, mm -hmm. but such as leave it shall die. Yep, and that, that's plain and simple. All right. Go ahead, bro. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. That thou may hey, and it says Salaki, it says uh the law that endures forever. So when we get into the kingdom of heaven, ain't none ain't ain't none, none of these words gonna change. Okay. The only thing that's gonna be different is it's gonna be in our inward parts, man. But this it says heaven and earth uh, uh passeth away, but my words shall not pass away. So these these words are forever, man. The laws and the statutes and commandments of Yahweh are forever. Go ahead, bro. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take a hold of it, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Mm -hmm. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Mm -hmm. O Israel, happy are we for the things for the things that are pleasing to the most high are made known unto us. And that's it. The things that are pleasing to the most high are made known unto who? The Israelites. Okay, that's why we're gonna know how to rule the kingdom in righteousness. That's why everything is going to be set back in order. It says what in the book of Acts? This is going to be the restitution of all things. Okay, everything is going to be back in order. The righteous people of the earth are going to be set back on top, man. All right? It's what it says in the book of Ecclesiastes. Um, I have seen um, service upon horses and princes walking the earth. Okay. It's, hey, that role is going to be reversed, man. All right? And, and, and because that's, guess what? We're supposed to rule, man. We fell from our glory, man. Because we wanted to serve other idols and do what the hell we wanted to do. Yeah, how about Shemuel said, all right, you know, go ahead. And he gave us, he did what? <laughs> hey, it goes on in there. And in, in the sixth verse, it says he gave, um, I mean, I feel like, let, let's just get it. I don't want to butcher it. Verse six. Mm -hmm. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the most high to wrath, mm -hmm. ye were divided into the enemies. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. That's it, man. We started idol worshiping. We started following after following after different gods, man. 
So you know what? The most high, he said, you know, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to put you on the strange lands, man. I'm going to disperse you all throughout the, throughout the earth and, and lands where, and where your enemies are. And that's why, <laughs> hey, call Allah Yahweh Shai because he said he's going to take us from those lands. Right. He's going to take us from the, uh, the lands of our captivity. Uh, let me see. Um. Uh, yeah, that's I'm, I'm gonna leave it. Don't really know. Uh, get um, Bible with Shah Ezekiel 39, just real quick, and then we're gonna hop back into that Isaiah. <clears throat> For the jump, uh, no, uh, started um, 20, 23rd verse, Bible with Shah. You said 29 from the uh, th uh no, 39. 39, yeah, kind of, kind of, so like <laughs> Hey, and that's they do the spirit. <laughs> 37 and 38 talks about what? Gog and Magog. You know, which is the times that we're coming into. And then what's happening, going to happen after that? The kingdom of heaven is going to come, man. Not in that specific order, but the kingdom of heaven follows all these other prophecies, man. You know, which before this war actually happens, you know, the RFID chip has to be fully implemented. It has to be made mandatory, which the last year, 2019, the year of Karagma, there was a lot of information that came out about the RFID chip, right? Yeah, there should be no doubt in your head that the RFID chip <coughs> and the market of beasts are synonymous mm -hmm. with each other. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, well, Isaiah 29 and 10, some were blinded, man. You know, because, hey, he made it plain. You know, yeah, let's get that Bible shot. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 39, uh, verse 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their in for their iniquity mm -hmm. because they uh, trespassed against me. That's that plain and simple, man. The heathens know, you know, hey, through the spirit, what we always say, the heathens know who we are, man. They know who we are. Uh, come on. Ain't nothing on here. Satan, boy. Yeah, the heathens know who we are, man. That's why hey, even there, there, there are accounts where the heathens would attack us when they knew that the Most High wasn't, he didn't have that hedge he around us. Yeah, he wasn't dealing with us. They said, okay, well, let us go and move on. But when they knew that Yahweh Shai was dealing with us, they said, nah. Nah, we ain't messing around. We ain't, we ain't messing with them right now. No, they, this ain't the right time. This ain't the right time, <laughs> man. You know? Because they the, the Father is protecting us, man. But there was a this point in time, he he he's not dealing with the, the bulk of Israel, man, because Israel is doing whatever the hell they want to do, you know. Hey, Lord, Lord, willingness don't cut off Satan, man. It's, it's nothing on here, man. I understand. Yeah, this this um, that that's all I want to do. Okay. Man. We're gonna get into the um, the Isaiah. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll go back in the second verse, Fine. Isaiah two and two. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Mm -hmm. The and, superior people, man. Yeah. And shall be exalted above the hills, and all the nations shall flow unto it. All the nations shall flow unto it. All right. All all the heathen nations that you see right now that are above above Jake, you know, hey, <laughs> we're about to we're about to rule soon, man. You know? That's why we push um, the book of Romans 11, and, or is it 13 and 11? It says, uh, now it's high time to wake out of sleep because now there's our salvation near the one we believe. We're about, to, we're about to rule, man. We're about to get a kingdom. I have not seen or heard the things that Yahweh Shemuel Shai had prepared for them that love him. And this is what's about to happen. This is what we're about to run into. Hey, I want to get it, but... Um, uh, in the book of uh, Second Ezra, I believe the eighth chapter and like the fifty third verse, where it says it, it tells you what the kingdom consists of. Plenteousness is made ready. You know, rest is allowed. Rest is that's that's the main part right there, where rest is allowed because you can't rest in this place. There's no peace in this place. Mm -hmm. You know, you try to go to sleep, you hear gunshots. You know, you you get up and you, you get ailments. You know, your back hurt, your knee hurt. You know. All these bad things is happening around you. You got then you got to go into the plantation and deal with deal with Edom, man. You know, <laughs> you got 
Come on. You man. get money, but you got bags with holes in it. Gone. You know. Gone. You can't. You can't win in this place. Exactly. But the thing is, we're not supposed to win in this place. But the Most High isn't uh, um, an asshole, so to speak, to just give us a, a, a everlasting punishment. All right, we're about to be redeemed. Like the brothers going into right now, we had a kingdom coming. We got a place where where we're going to have dominion, where we're going to uh, govern how the Most High originally intended it, the, uh, the world to be governed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Con. Hey, that's why Esau is coming down on us, man. Because he see, he see that his end is near. He see that his end is near. Hey, uh, what was that? Uh, <clears throat> Esau is uh, the end of the world. Oh. Jacob is the beginning of it that yeah, follows. We're going to get it for the edification, man. You know? This is what we look forward to, man. What else do we have to look forward to in, in Babylon, man? You know, hey, we're... we're we're, we're ridiculed, you know, unjustly. You know, we're, 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 our people are getting shot down in the streets. They're not treated fairly, you know. We don't, hey, you, you got to be a fool to want to stay here in Babylon, man. You have to be a fool. Hey, the Most High have truly put the spirit of blindness upon two-thirds of our people, man. Because it's, it's plain as day in the scriptures, and we bring it out plain as day. You go ahead, brother. Taking Israel's chapter 6, starting at verse 7, it says, Then he answered, I, and said, And and, and Salakia, when you read from the top of that, it's, it's telling you before anything was created, this was the plan. This is what Yahweh Shemal Shah had planned. He said, Before ever Lily came up, before any foundation was laid. And then it goes into this scripture the brother's about to read. Yeah, matter of fact, let me jump to verse 2, just verse right. 2, real quick. Okay. It says, Before it thundered and lightning or ever. The foundation, the foundations of paradise were laid. Mm -hmm. Verse, uh, verse. <laughs> before anything was anything, man. This is what the, the heavenly Father had planned, man. You know, predestinated us to a kingdom. You go ahead, bro. Verse seven. That's a, that should be exciting, <laughs> Jake. Should be you should be excited, man. That Esau is going down, man, and that you got a kingdom coming. No niggas are worried about the uh, the, the, the new Jays. Oh, we worried about the, the NFL playoffs and the Super Bowl. All these boys, great <coughs> circuses, man. You worry about all this, and you got a whole kingdom coming. Well, you ain't got to worry about working. You ain't got to worry about going and, and, and uh, um, working eighty hours, and then grow what grossing um damn near a thousand dollars and getting like six hundred back. Right. You know, you don't have to worry about none of that. We're gonna be hey. Let's get the scriptures, man. I got, I got to get that now, man. The, the spirit, we, we got, we got to get that. Yeah, you go ahead and get that, bro. Bible shot. Second Ezra chapter six verse seven. Then answer I and said, "What should be the party in the center of the times, mm -hmm. or when shall, uh, or when shall the end of the first? Or it's like, when shall be the end of the first, or the beginning of it that followeth?" And a hey, and, and and you know when you go through the the scriptures and and you have these different accounts. The men, the men of the Lord were always like, man, when is this, when is it going to happen? You know what? No, when is it, pretty much when? It, when are we going to? When are we going to be? Uh, when is it going to be our turn? When right. are you coming back? Right. You know. And that's because they asked uh, the the Lord when uh, in the Book of Acts. Yeah. You know they say, you know when when shall these things be? You know, and and hey, the Most High. That's why it says in the Book of Second Peter the third chapter, the Lord is long suffering. You know. It says uh, one day is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. We have to wait on your Hashem and Hashem. But it says what? And have a coup too. It shall surely come. It will not tarry. What is that? Second um, Ezra fifteen, and I believe verse two. It says his words are faithful and true. We hold tight to that, man. You know, we hold that steadfast and near and dear to our heart, because your Hashem and Hashem is not a man that he shall lie. Go ahead, bro. <clears throat> Like Verse 8. Uh, and he said unto me, From Abraham unto I was shy, man.
You know, it says the root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness in the moth is hid from you and corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten, man. So all war is going to be done away with. Uh, Yahweh Shai is going to wipe away, wipe the tears from our eyes, man. All right. We're not going to have to worry about a thing, man. You know, we're not going to have to worry about nothing. Don't you want that for life? <laughs> it's for life. Okay. Nobody got next after you, man. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter four, verse twenty-eight. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. The evil is sown, but the destruction is not yet come. Why? Because Yahweh Shimon Shai says what in the book of uh, Psalm seventy-nine, he's preserving the he's preserving them for death, man. So Esau, he's doing his thing. You know, he's doing his thing right now. He's flourishing in his in his wickedness, man. Coming up with all different types of ways to make people go off. All homosexual homosexuality is flowing through this place, man. All different, all the evil is sown throughout the really throughout the earth, man. Because he's he's not just only here in Babylon; he's all around the world with this madness. Right. It says the evil is sown, but the destruction is not yet come. Meaning what? It's going to come. Not yet come. All right. Go ahead, bro. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, do you want to be under so like it, bro? You want to be, you want to be in servitude to to this to this guy the rest of your life, to Esau. Come on, man. His own people are his own people are fed up with him. I mean, they're, they really don't <laughs> care because right? they don't believe that they serve it. They they kings, remember? That's yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. You know? Hey, or they they trying to be like polite, being sovereign, right? Right. <laughs> Here in America, come on, good man. luck. Good luck, man. You know, hey, this ain't this ain't our kingdom. Micah two and ten, plain and simple. This is not our rest. No, this is not our rest, man. You know, this is Matthew twenty four says if um if the time wasn't shortened, everybody would be done, man. But the the time is shortened for the elect's sake. 